Yep, another Yu-Gi-Oh video. It's, it's gonna be about Pokemon though. Oh, should I pick on? I would play the Yu-Gi-Oh music, but sometimes I play this game kind of on fast track, so the noises might, well, the soundtrack might get annoying, so I'll just turn up Pokemon X. So, yeah, this is going to be a rant video, or just a talking video, it depends on how it goes. Wait, why did I do that? I know I haven't been uploading in a while, but I want to let you guys and girls know something. I do not have a schedule for videos, so... I would just say expect them at random, because this is kind of just very random at this point. And I can't really say much on what to expect for real. I cannot say it, it will be my last rant video if I ever make another rant video. I cannot say it's my last video on anything at all. And also, if any of my thumbnails look click fady, which I don't really mean to do at all. And I truly, truly mean that. I want just someone in the comment section tell me like, Hey, this seems like it's clickbait. Do you think you could change it? And I, of course, I, being me, don't really have a problem changing anything. So, I wouldn't mind doing that. I, you don't really hurt my, it doesn't really hurt my feeling. It's just giving me the, you know, the criticism I'm looking for to know that I need to change something. Oops. And that was something else. So yeah, I just need the criticism to know that I need to change something. Well, I don't even say criticism. That wouldn't really count as criticism, would it? Well, it's more of feedback. I just need feedback. If something doesn't seem right, I just really want you guys and girls to just, you know, let me know. I don't mind changing like anything, but the only thing I'm not changing is my views on like the whole national dex thing. That that stands. That's truly really going to stand because I would never defend Game Freak for this one. Well, I never defended Game Freak at all. Actually, they just gave me a Pokemon game. And I usually just played it, but since recently, I thought it would have been a great idea before Gen Eight comes out. I should, like, for once, actually complete the National Decks. Well, this was kind of before Gen 7, because I kind of did complete the National Decks in um, Alpha Sapphire, but some of my Pokemons are missing. Uh, don't ask how or why. I don't know why or how, neither. So, it kind of took me a while to recomplete that, and then... Now this is what's like around the time of Sun and Moon. I kind of full on completed it and then during Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I added um like uh, uh, added the rest like um gender differences. That's what I mean and you know, some event Pokémon that was still going on. I still did some of those. And then Pokémon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. The only reason I played those is because there was two new Pokemons. If I don't have those two new Pokemons, then I don't have a complete national dex. And plus, I wouldn't even get to play, be able to play them. I do have Pokemon Go on my phone, but I mostly play that just to get more Meltans. It might be a bit wrong, but I still play with like all of my Pokemon. Sometimes I do trade and stuff, but it's not that hard to actually get them back. I just made every... Never mind. It's not really that hard to get them back. I do have the games. I do have the resources. Yes, but I also have the resources to help other people that need the Pokemon. So... I forgot what I was getting at. And uh, National X. So this whole National Dex thing kind of affects a lot of people. 
So I stand on what I said about Game Freak. I'm going to be very critical with less cursing because I still have to mind my manners. I'm very proper. But when I do curse, it got to be something that literally makes my skin boil. And I mean boil, boil. And that will be actually something rare. That'd be a rare treat. It'd be something that makes my skin boil, or if I'm making a joke, or if I um, I'm talking with a friend. Those are the only time I curse or with family. I forgot I should have attacked. Oops. Well, um, what am I thinking? Oh yeah, my friend. She wants. She wants me to play Pokemon Sword and Shield with her. I did agree because since Pokemon Black and White, we've been playing Pokemon together. She did miss out on X and Y, but she just completed Pokemon X and she has yet to finish Pokemon Ultra Moon. Still waiting on that. She completed Let's Go Eevee and she said that was the most easiest game she ever, well, easiest Pokemon game she ever played. And that says a lot. Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu are kind of extremely easy. When you get those games in your hands, you're expecting them to be on the same level as old, um, old Kanto, but it's, it's, it's not. All the disappointment once the game is in your possession. It's just upsetting. Nope, can't summon the powerful dragon just yet. Uh... What am I thinking? But yeah, those games, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee is kind of, was kind of not needed. They didn't have to make a game like last year. And also, um, they said that, quote unquote, they made Pokemon, the new Pokemon models from scratch for the Switch. I'm questioning how did the Let's Go models from all the Kanto Pokemons were perfectly like match with a DS. So I'm questioning how is Kanto Pokemon all of them excluding Meltan and Mel Metal. All the Kanto Pokemon, all of them. How their models are way more special than the rest of them. Like that's not good. And that actually goes to show their care well, they do care is some degree because all the Pokemon that we have now, their data is in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. But their models aren't. Which is the sad part. I really wish like their models was like in the game in the game. So we can actually like still play Let's the Let's Go games even to like to this day, that's why people still play, um, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon because the simple fact that it's more diverse. Let's go Pikachu Eevee is not diverse at all. They actually have a limited amount of Pokemon as most people know. Even with Meltan and Melmetal is still limited. And plus, Mel Meltan and Melmetal, you don't really see them much on online. You'll see more Pokemon that use Stealth Rock. Hypnosis, toxic, because you can't get rid of any of the status. Or thunder, thunder wave, thunder shock as well. Well, I wouldn't say thunder shock, but any paralyzing status move people will use, and there's nothing you can do. All you have to do is just simply deal with it or wait it out. So I'm questioning why are they doing this? This is not even really good at all. It's actually hurting the fan base like really really hard. Some of you might not even see that. Some of you might not like know that, or some of you might not want to like hear it. But their decision is not good for like the whole community. I don't want nobody to be fired at Game Freak or the Pokemon Company. I just want them to reevaluate like their business practice. Like, to me, hiring more people would be the start, but I don't know how it works at Game Freak at all, or any companies in Japan. 
but yes, it would have been more simpler. These games were in development for like three to four years, and they have a limited development time for the Pokemon. It feels like they just adding the Pokemon as last and adding everything else in first. You think the Pokemon, a company that's made for mostly Pokemon, the po Pokemon as priority and everything else like second. To me, it, it don't sound right at all. They should actually think more of the Pokemon than, well, they still need to think of animations and stuff, but they still just need to think more of, like, how people feel about this. They could do, like, you know what, the things they could do is, like, give out surveys to people that are subscribed to the Pokemon, you know, dot com or newsletter or whatever you want to say. Give out surveys and see, like, what, what do they want to see in a Pokemon game? Or, what do people want to see in Pokemon game? Instead of just, you know, questionably, questionably taking things out for no reason. Like, taking things out that people love. It's, it's just no. It's, that, that's just, like, a, not a good business practice, if you ask me. And, also, if they're going to do that, then it'd be truly best to, like, do it before they start development of a new game so that way they will have all the information they need to actually make a very good pokemon game me for example they keep saying like people everybody asks for a wild area an open worldish pokemon game i truly never asked for something like that the only thing i truly asked for was um a Pokemon game that I can actually really enjoy so like to the fullest it don't even have to be like the greatest games or you know godly Pokemon games it's just a Pokemon game that actually really a Pokemon game that I can truly truly enjoy and actually have all my Pokemons in the Versus Seeker. I want a Pokemon game that can last a very long time. I don't really want a Pokemon game like every year if it's for the cost of, um, you know, everything that you work for. Like, I don't, I don't really like that at all. They should really reevaluate everything. I guess I'll have to at least guys. So if they do surveys, they should really ask questions like, should this feature come back this generation or should it come back next generation? Or should it ask for what are your favorite things in Pokemon? What do you like about Pokemon? Th things like that. Something that doesn't really... Something that's not like big but you know talking about features like if you want mega evolution bags or z moves surveys to people they should do multiple surveys one with people that are on twitter and um other social media sites that way they could reach out to like the wider audience and you can reach out to your friends and make them an account so you guys can actually you know, do it together. Or make your friend an account so they can actually put their input on it. That way it would have been, you know, getting it out there. Out there. Because if people can still, um, what am I thinking? If people could actually do that, it would be better. And it would actually help get the word out and stuff. Oh man, this that car just sucks. That would not benefit. Ah, forgot my train of thoughts. They just need to get out there. Like, what do fans really want? Like, what what did the majority of not even the majority? What did the whole fan base want as a? Okay, maybe might might be the majority. I can't say the fan base as a whole because everybody wants a different thing. 
to me, if they added the national decks back, it wouldn't even be a lose win situation. It would be just a win win. Everybody would stop complaining. Everybody would enjoy the games. Everybody wouldn't talk about the graphics. I could even point out like two graphical issues on Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I didn't even notice it until I actually looked closely at the games. Well, one of them extremely noticeable. But you have to look closely and you have to dislike the game to actually point out like different like the problems with this while I was trying to get out. Like, um, oh god, I'm going all over the place. Mint is down topic. Uh, what am I thinking? It's been a while since I ever made a video, but that's not what I meant. But, um, Yeah, if they just get surveys out there, it would, it would be the best. Just ask all, just ask the fans what they want to see in the Pokemon game and add them. Instead of just an F you to the veteran players and using their ideas just to make the games for newer audience. Because I'm pretty sure none of the newer audience ever asked for an open world area where Pokemons could be in the overworld and uh, all the other good stuff. All those ideas are from the veteran players. I, they say they are listening, but are they truly? That is my question. Are they truly listening to us? Because if so, it doesn't really feel like it. I swear, it, they keep saying like these little things that's kind of like, like, dang. I'm trying to think of the words that I want to say, but I just can't think of it when I'm recording. Yeah, I know I don't really make the best quality like videos and stuff. I know I might ramble on and might get off topic like how I am doing now, but I, I, at least I try. I might not be the best at anything, but I give it my, my best. And actually, when I'm actually with my friend, I will actually speak up more and actually talk differently. I might as well just put in attack mode. This game cheats. Really? Well, this was a bad hand. So... What I was talking about, I was talking about Game Freak and their decisions making is not good. Yeah, it's not really good. To be honest, if I actually worked at Game Freak, you would actually see... Well, more than just Game Freak. Game Freak and the Pokemon Company. You guys and girls would actually see a crazy Pokemon game. Like, I mean crazy. I will actually add in my own intake. I wouldn't even, like... I wouldn't even care about quality over quantity because you can have both. If you look at Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, people keep referencing it. Yes, I know you're probably tired of hearing about it. Yes, I know, but the thing is about that game, people are still finding little things about it to this day since it came out. I don't know when it came out, but I'm still surprised people are finding little things about it to this day. That says a lot. And then Pokemon or Pokemon Sword and Shield, we still don't know much about the game, so I can't be that critical now, but I'll still point out little faults in it. They just need to start releasing games so early and so quickly. And let these games actually 
be developed with love and care instead of being rushed and forgotten about. That's why the greatest Pokemon games are never forgotten. Because they actually gave you a challenge and they actually gave you something to remember them by. Not many people can say that. Also, I have another video that's going to be about Pokemon... Forgettable Pokemon learning like signature moves to help them be remembered. Like the Pokemon Stumpfist. I mean, I was constantly kind of looking at it in, um, in the friend safari here. And I was like, hmm, probably people would remember it if it had like a really cool new um, signature move. The one I can think about, I wouldn't even say stakeout because now I'm remembering that is a, um, a ability that, uh, give me a second, the young goose has and gumshoes. But, what am I thinking? It's it's like saying stakeout, but it's not really a stakeout. It's kind of like, no, no, ambush. If it had a, a an attack called ambush, like a Pokemon waits for the opponent Pokemon to attack, then your Pokemon hides and wait for the Pokemon, well, your opponent Pokemon to trigger the trap, and then it would do well. It, yeah, it would do um. 50% more, well, 50% of damage, or, yeah, 50% of damage. Oh, look at that. Huh. There we go. Oh, that's my train of thought. Yeah, 50% damage because, you know, Pokemon fell for the trap. So I don't know if that would be actually a good video. I feel like it would have been an okay one. It don't seem, have to be like a, a crazy video, but just something to get out there. Did, did this game just froze? Ah. It confused me for a second, but uh, yeah. No, there's not much else I want to talk about for today's video. This duel might actually linger on. If I play these cards right, I can actually summon my go-to dragon. This is more than one. Well, I can play this. Right, that requires sacrifice. Okay, I can summon that. Right, one, two, three, four. Add another dragon, that'd be great. I can't remember what was its ability. Okay, it, its ability was to take a card out of my hand and then just kind of... Wait, what? Why didn't I take damage the first time? I'll read about that later. thinking okay to make a long rent short game freak needs to get it together they really need to start caring about pokemon pokemon sword and shield cannot be delayed because they need to sell switch lights and poke clippers that make videos like what pokemon should be cut they're wrong for making those videos because you cannot speak for the whole community and you cannot speak for basically anyone because you know you're basically saying like your your selection will be better than anyone else's well not like that but like um put this okay 
you're saying basically you don't want this certain Pokemon in Pokemon Sword and Shield because you don't use it nor you care about it. That's very selfish because you don't know if the Pokemon you say that should be deleted is somebody's favorite. That is like the craziest thing. That's why I would never make a video like that. That's why I don't have like any like full on favorites because every single Pokemon that I have is my favorite. I don't treat them any differently. They're all equally loved and they're all equally cared for. And they're all equally trained and like looked after. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Once this duel ends, I'll end the video. And I probably at some point this video will be cut because a 30 minute video would be a, a bit too much. What else was there? Oh yeah, the most one of the most craziest things I've ever like read on Twitter, and it kind of confused me. People say do not um do not harass Masuda and do not put the stupid hashtag on the Pokemon account because it doesn't represent anyone in Game Freak. Someone actually told me that. I would have told them it's like one of the others, rather the account themselves, well itself, who which you say don't represent anyone in Game Freak. Basically, you're telling me that I need to talk to, or bring this up with someone with Game Freak. Then I should just go to Masuda. Then they would just say no, you shouldn't put the hashtag on it at all, because basically they want to silence. They want to silence everyone. I don't get that. Oh, I still took damage. Well, before I end this video, I don't get why people say that. People that do say that are terrible because your opinion is not above anyone else's. Everyone's opinion is equally, well, is equal. No matter how you see it or how you put it, everyone's opinion is equal. Period, point blank. You cannot tell people to shut up. They're stupid call them names, being immature, but turn around and play the blame game. That's not how the world works. You have a voice. You let your voice be heard. Do not let nobody silence you. And never jump to conf conclusion. That's what I was meant to say. Never jump to conclusion. Always do your research. If you're doing a topic, subject, or anything, that will require you to be in a debate with or an argument with or barely any arguments. So you make sure you get your information right. Don't get confused with anything. And don't try to speak for the whole community as a whole. But speak in a way that is towards yourself and what's good for the community. And don't defend Game Freak at all. For this decision, do not defend Game Freak. I know some of you might want to defend Game Freak, but for the love of God, if I lose subscribers for this, I I, I would say that my apologies if my words actually upset you, but I really don't want you guys or girls to support any bad decisions Game Freak makes. This one was a bad one. In my opinion, it might not be bad. In your opinion, that's cool, but to me, it's not good to defend this one, per se. But anywho, I'm finna go now. I shall talk to you all later.